legs, but while you're in stasis, something has gone terribly, terribly wrong. Um, you can probably do a search on YouTube to watch the cutscenes. Just don't watch them out of order or it might spoil things. Um, so we've got to try and find out what the hell's going on. The entire sector is depressurizing. The blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! Oh, God. I think that was a key card I just picked up. Yeah. Got the door won't open. We need some kind of code. Wonder if this dead body can help us. It has an audio log. Let's listen to it. Great. I'm gonna change the access codes out of cryo A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Okay, so that's the code. And it worked. Now, I'm just going to cut the video a second and review it because it's quite loud and I want to make sure I'm audible. What the hell was that? As I said, yeah, I'm just going to cut things here for a moment. But we'll be back. Right, I'm back. Um, audio sounded okay to me, so I'm just going to carry on. Um, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is save my game. I'm going to overwrite this old save. These were just like little test videos that I was doing, and they ended up getting carried away and playing for quite a while. So we're going to save here. And crack on. I can't get through. What a, what a shit place for a door. Really? So we're going down here. Warning. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. Another wrench. Don't need it. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power unit. That should open the airlock door. Be quick about it. The vacuum seals won't hold up much longer. Right. She's actually lying there no matter how long you take. It doesn't depressurize. So we've got the battery. We've recharged it. Now, you can't just do that. You've got to open your inventory and drag it into place. How boss is that? Can we get in here? Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. Oh I've no, just I'm locked you in. Some cybernetic no, I'm not. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. All right, love. Another dead body. Uh, so far, I've pretty much just been picking up uh, nanites, which is like the currency of the game. Oh. oh, fucking hell. Right, now these cyber modules let me upgrade my stats using these, uh, whatever they are, phones. <laughs> uh, these little units, of course, units. Now, can't get in there, it's a dead body. Another audio log. Some more nanites. Just going around pillaging the ship for all it's worth. Hypo spray. Now, at this point in the game, you don't know what the code is for this, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. Ha ha. Nice and easy. Brawn boost implants. Now, implants. At the moment, I can use one implant. I can choose an upgrade that lets me use two. While this is being used, it will increase my strength. Now, as you can see here, my inventory is 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
up to 15, but I can't use these at the minute because I'm not strong enough. Put this in here. Watch what happens. See, I've now, I'm now stronger, so I can carry more. But it uses its energy, so at the minute it's got 100% energy. That'll drain as it's used, and I can use a recharger, like the one we just used for that battery, to recharge its energy up to full. Um, let's head up to the second level. I know there's more stuff here. It's been a while since I played this, but I know there is more. Right, now this is a Black Ops Psionic Amplifier. When you use this, not only does it look disgusting since you've got this thing plugged into your arm, but it, that's the thing, like the weapon that lets you use your psionic powers. Since I haven't got any, it's a bit of a waste of time and I can't actually put things back in containers. So, we'll keep all of it for now. Now, if I remember rightly, Yep, there's some items on that strangely placed support beam. It's not actually supporting. Fuck all. Now, if I was a Psy agent, I could use telekinesis. But since I'm not, I can still get it for free. Gotta climb up here. And... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Ah, oh, and I missed. God's sake, come on, mate. Yes, now I think there's one more thing up there. Can't see. Yep, got it. What was it? Some bullets and a speed booster. A speed. Now, you can get a speed boost implant, or you can use a hypo booster, speed booster, which gives you the temporary burst of speed. Now at the moment we've got eight cyber modules so we can upgrade some stuff. Don't want psi weapons and um, standard weapons once two and he takes six. Uh, energy takes twelve. I will be getting the energy skill at some point because you can I think I, I can find about two laser pistols um, and that basically gives you free ammunition since if you can remember where there's a recharge station, you can alternate, well, use one laser pistol when its energy runs out, use the other one, and then once they're both out, go to wherever you've remembered there's a recharger and get your full energy back. It saves on bullets. Although bullets I will use as a last resort at that time. Um, so, they are tech, yeah. So, I, mean, I chose plus one research, so I'm currently at one. I would have started with zero. I didn't know that. I thought I started with one and would have had two. Uh, so it's just as well we went for that. Um, maintenance. See these, these. I need to. I haven't got enough for any of these at the minute. So we're just going to go for hack. I should have three more. Yeah, three more. So we're going to go for. And you, 35 hit points. We should be all right with that for now. Let's save those other three for now. Um, um, get on with it. Well, I haven't been in here, have I? You can read these and they'll give you tips on what's going on with the game. But I don't need them. Fucking hell. Key cards, I'm going to need that in a second. More cash. Give me the cash. Let's break that. Bullets, Psy Spray. I probably won't really use these Psy Sprays since I won't be using any Psy Powers. But, keep for the rainy day. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my car. Please, let me out of here. Load of nanites. So this is the door we needed that key card for. Ooh, can you hear that? two distinct voices there. That's a robot. Let's go through. We are, we are, we are, we are. Ooh, there's someone. Hello. Come on, you bastard. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. 
Come on, bitch. Let's have at you. The many things to us. Flash seeks you. Where is a thousand? Come on. My song is not a. Oh, you bastard. Have a reach on them. ARC, that's the that's one of the freaking hell thought a robot was there then. Let's get in here. We can start researching this object. This one would have been the first one, we don't need any chemicals for it. So we're gonna wait a moment. Well that research is going quite quick. I'm gonna have a bit of my sausage roll. You can see loads of flavour text in this game, loads of it. So this item, this organ we just got, this is a pulpy, kidney shaped object, organ even, that controls most of a hybrid's vital functions. We're going to get more in a minute once we've researched it and we're an expert on it, which we will be. By the way, if anyone's interested, I am currently consuming some pork farms pork pie, some Tesco's own sausage rolls, and some flame grilled steak flavoured McCoy's crisp. Lovely. And I have a glass of um it's Coke. Not Pepsi. It's normally Pepsi, it's got Coke today. I might have a bit here. Don't know yet. See what happens. I just go crazy. Nearly done, come on. Research complete. Excellent. We go to reports. Hybrid organ. Now, I'm not going to read it all. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. Bloody hell, there's a lot. It's the effort that's gone into this game. So basically, as a result of this, I think, yeah, 25% bonus damage to hybrids now. And we can actually get shut of it. God, it's big, isn't it? Another audio log. I think I've got, I've got another one to read, haven't I? Okay, let's stay in this little crisps. Let's stay in this little safe area and listen to those audio logs. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Right. So I think he was talking about me. Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? Yes, what indeed. Right, so I've forgotten what the hell we're meant to be doing. Let's check the notes. Get to deck four to meet Dr. Polito. Okay. Um, oh, I can hack this. Right, okay. So, you'll sometimes find not, a lot of crates you can just open and look in them and take what's there. These security crates need hacking, um, and as a result, they have better stuff in them most of the time. Now, if you fail the hack, it will blow up, I think. Uh, so, we don't want to do that. Um, now, as you can see, initial difficulty 75%. My hack skill of 2 reduces that by 20. 
and my cyber stat of three i think i start with one but i got a bonus of two for me choices brings it down by a further 15 so we end up with a final difficulty of 40 pretty straightforward and it's got no ice nodes i think ice nodes like make it harder again um some of the higher level crates have more and the initial difficulty is higher so let's go now i've never really looked into how the hacking works i just know you've got to create a chain so let's try that that see that didn't work try that so, so that's fucked that bit. Uh, let's try that. No, that. There we go. Made a link there. So we got some bullets and some money. Money, 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 money. Money. The lift is over here. Access to decks one to five. Does it say what deck I'm on? I know I'm on two, but that's just because I've played it. Whatever. That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. So we've got to get in there to get down there to power the engines, um, which will get the lift working. But we need code. Now I could cheat and just know the code, but I don't. And I don't want to cheat, otherwise what's the point of playing the game? Mm -hmm. So, we've got to... Where are we going? What was that bint on about? Crew card from Grassy in... Near biopsy in medical. So, which way is medical? Medical's this way. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, remember rightly... Yep, yeah, camera. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to this bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid, but there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. I am really hurt. Right, so before we go over there, we're going to turn off the security system. Which we do by hacking. Yeah, this one's even easier. Security system offline. So that way, security cameras will not alert the main computer of our presence. And we can safely do this. So even when the security comes back online, that camera won't be seeing me. So I need to repower that power cell. Uh, another audio log we'll listen to in a bit. That was a uh, anti-radiation or... Yeah, anti-radiation hypo. We're gonna need them soon. Let's <laughs> um, go in here. Some Die! <laughs> Maybe no he didn't. He has inserted something into his spine. And that or his spine has grew out of the back of his neck and attached On itself to the pipe. You'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. Um, with being able to save your game, this doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Um, 
Um, and just loads of save up 